Husky fans, I'm Paige Jack and I'm here, I'm here to give you the inside scoop on the new assistant coach, Coach Maria. And so, tell me, what, where are you from originally? Rapid City, Michigan. Okay. Where did you go to college? I went to college at THE Michigan Tech University. <laughs> what was your major? My major was business uh, with concentrations in management and marketing and then I finished with my master's in business administration. When did you realize you wanted to be a basketball coach? Um, I had to sit out due to injury, so for two years I was on the bench sitting next to our assistant coach at Michigan Tech and kind of saw the game from a whole new um, viewpoint, and that was when I kind of knew coaching was for me. Okay. Um, have you? Co where did you coach before NIU? I spent the last five years at my alma mater, Michigan Tech University. Okay. Cool. Me. <laughs> so, what are three things you can't live without? Three things I can't live without. Coffee, Trident Original Gum, and pizza. So, like, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza? Um, there's got to be, like, sausage, and then maybe mushrooms, and then another vegetable. Okay. So, it's not, you know, your typical pizza? No. I'm not a one-topping kind of girl. <laughs> so, how do you like NIU so far? I love NIU. Um, I love working with our awesome staff, Coach Tandez, Coach McGinty, and then our head coach, Coach Carlson. Uh, Quinn and Mariah do an awesome job uh, supporting us every day. And then I love getting to know the girls better and better every day. We're working really hard. I'm really excited about the upcoming season. Have you, um, you've been to an NIU women's basketball, or, uh, volleyball game? Yes, I have. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's really loud in there. It's a really cool environment. Um, the victory court is packed. Uh, I had a hard time getting a seat. The popcorn was good. And I have seen us get through two wins so far. Awesome. So are you excited? You have the first um, exhibition game, I believe, coming mm -hmm. up. Are you excited for that? Yeah, it'll be nice. You know, these first uh, couple weeks as a coach, you're, the players are getting after each other every day. So it'll be really, really nice to see us uh, beat up on somebody other than ourselves. I know it's a game that... The girls are going to be looking forward to, and then it'll be nice to, as a staff, kind of prepare for somebody else other than ourselves, and yeah. just kind of see all of our hard work uh, come into fruition, and uh, hopefully ends up in a big W here in the combo. So what kind of coach would you say you are? Are you a positive, like, very loud coach, or are you more to the point, like, strict and very, um, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm very loud and energetic. Um, I try to be positive, but I also demand a lot from our players. Uh, I think I'm pretty detail-oriented, so even the little little mistakes um, might get me a little fired up, but I try to make sure I back that up with a, a positive remark later. Uh, I think as an assistant, it's important to be there for the players, uh, make sure that you're teaching, but at the same time, let them know that you've got their back. Awesome. That's a good quality. Thanks. <laughs> hmm. Do you have any pets by chance? No, absolutely not. You don't like animals? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I liked my old dogs, but for the most part, I have a hard enough time just getting all my stuff together, so I don't need a pet. No. I mean, they're, other people's pets are fine, but I, I shouldn't have a pet. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, respectable. I understand that. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, where have you ever been out of the country? Yes, I past five years I've gone to Grand Cayman for a vacation with a group of friends. Um, it is an amazing week of my life every year, and yeah, it's hot there. So Anywhere I read else? Read my books. Um, Canada, been to Toronto, very cool city. I would love to go back. Now that I'm older, might have even a better appreciation for it. Um, but besides that, I kind of like my feet on uh, on my home soil. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what are your thoughts on Adam? Ah, Coach Tandez. He's a gem, you know. We met uh, about seven, six, six years ago at a recruiting event in Wisconsin. Uh, we were in a, like, hospitality room for coaches and just kind of started talking. Uh, after that, just kind of saw him on the recruiting trail every summer. We had a lot of recruiting battles and uh, started a game. I always chase loose balls at recruiting events and... I've never lost to him, so happy about that. Uh, but was really excited that uh, now instead of working coaching against him, now I get to coach with him. Uh, he's a great listener. He's a great friend and a great coworker. Awesome. 
If you weren't a basketball coach, what do you think you'd be doing? Um, before I got into college coaching, I was a project manager for the state health department in Michigan, um, working in the division of immunizations. So uh, challenging work. I was very, I think healthcare was going through a lot of changes at the time. And so it was uh, kind of really involved, evolving um, profession. Uh, and then I was also coaching high school and club basketball on the side. So uh, I'd probably still be in that field. Um, it was kind of every day was different. Um, but at the same time, I knew that I wanted to be on the basketball court full time instead of just after work. I feel like it, you get more out of coaching. Yes, I think it's a very fulfilling profession. And uh, I think the coaches that I've had in the past, um, Coach Cameron from Michigan Tech and all the way back to my high school coach, Dave Dalton, um, they were always really positive influence on me, always kind of challenged me to be my best. Uh, coach Mike Geary as well, who's now at St. Louis, um, they had such lasting impacts on me that I want to hopefully be to someone else um, like they were to me. I know personally, um, playing volleyball, I had coaches that ruined the game for me, and I didn't like to play anymore, and they just made it horrible. But then I've had coaches that were amazing and made me love the game, made me want to get better, mm -hmm. and like gave me a purpose and stuff like that. So I think it's really important to have a good coach that cares and is in it for the right reasons. Yeah, I never, as a player, I never wanted to feel like I'm ready for this to be over. And I hope that players that play for me have that have that same feeling. Like I could do this for a lot longer. I'm really sad that my four years is over. So yeah. So uh, are you single? I am, and looking. <laughs> Taking applications. <laughs> I'm in the basketball suite. First <laughs> office, right when you walk in. Awesome. Okay, well, thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thanks so much for having and me. And thanks for watching and Inside NIU Women's Basketball. Go Huskies!